welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading and the first card that you've got is a confront. So there's some kind of situation that you're going through at the moment, uh, you know, where you um, may be um, confronting somebody or having a problem with somebody. Um, maybe they're preventing you from moving forward because you can see this little boy is blocking the, uh, or this person is blocking the um, the doorway over there. Now, this almost implies like this man's shadow is blocking it. So it could be you preventing yourself from moving forward. And it's about confronting your fears and letting go of things from the past as well. But there could also be somebody that is preventing you from going through uh, and, you know, getting, um, reaching your highest goals or achievement, somebody preventing you uh, from moving forward. There is a need for you to speak out uh, against whatever, whoever this person is, even if it causes conflict. You've got the throat chakra being activated over here. So there is somebody that you need to express yourself to. Tell them exactly what you want because it seems like whatever their opinions are matters to you and it is the thing that is preventing you from moving forward. Maybe they've been taking advantage of you um, and you know you have allowed them to do it because you don't want to stir up any problems. You don't like the conflict of it, but it seems like this is the time for you now to conf uh, confront this particular person or this con particular uh, situation and speak out uh, against it. You are feeling rather helpless and hopeless, it seems. You feel as though, you know, whichever path that you choose seems to be very difficult. You're going through a very, very difficult period over here. Uh, you can see this person being faced with the decision over here. This is the Eight of Swords, so being, you know, in a situation where you're feeling very, very trapped. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a clear way out of it. And you can see there's two mountains in the uh, distance over here. So there's a choice that you are facing, but they are very, very difficult choices that you are facing. Uh, and you are very, very conflicted about what to do. And it seems like somebody is preventing you from going forward. Whatever this choice is, it doesn't seem like your path is open. You want to walk away from it. Uh, you're very, you know, you want to end that cycle. You want to end that situation. But it seems like the doorway is closed. And the only way out of it is actually to speak out against whomever is oppressing you or ever is causing, um, uh, preventing you from moving forward. We've got the reach out card over here and the detach so this is about, you know, um, this is the Three of Pentacles, really. Um, and this is about uh, reaching out to people uh, around you and making, a, uh, you know, um, improving your communication with these people. Um, but you've also got the detach. So you need to get uh, a, a clear perspective about what is going on over there. Um, and, you know, release your fears. You can see her releasing uh, this dove over there and walking away from, you know, what seems to be a very, very difficult situation. If you look at the shadow, it's in ice here. So it seems like you're coming through a very, very uh, difficult situation. And uh, you need to have, this is about releasing hope as well. You need to have some hope for the future and detach yourself from it. This is the hangman card, really, in the deck. And this is about feeling very restricted and tied up. And you need to reach out to people and communicate exactly how you're feeling. So this important, uh, it's important to activate this uh, throat chakra. It, you know, you need to tell people exactly what you want to do and do it. Uh, and don't allow people to push you around. You've got daydreams and decisions over here. So this is the Seven of Cups. And this is about procrastinating, trying to make a decision but being very confused about what to do as well. And, you know, being a bit delusional about what is going on. So you need to uh, research every kind of decision that you're making. Maybe ask uh, somebody for advice if you can. Or if you can't ask somebody for advice, go within yourself. Use your own personal experience to make decisions. The point of this card is about um, not just having an idea in your head, but going for it. And this is about making concrete plans and making concrete decisions rather than just having ideas, uh, you know, floating through your head and not uh, pursuing those ideas. So there is a need for you to get some direction as well with that seven of cups. You've got clarity and of belief coming in over here. Now, once you get make a decision about what you want to do, it looks like it's going to bring in a big change. 
Um, this is the Eight of Swords. This is a breakthrough moment, an aha moment that comes in for you. And you can see there's a butterfly of change over there coming in over there. So instead of sitting around, you need to actually take control over there, make a decision, and this will allow you to move forward. It might mean that you have to cut ties with people completely, cut that past out completely, and move away from people. If you're dealing with any kind of legal situation, it looks like some kind of legal decision will be made. But you also need to make a decision as well about what you do. Right now, you're neither here nor there with that Seven of Cups. Uh, it seems like you're all over the place. You're looking at all your options, but you haven't made some kind of decision, and you do need to make a decision with that um, Ace of uh, uh, Swords there. And you need to, you know, clarity is going to be coming in for you. You have to think with a very clear mind and, uh, you know, you have to um, be very logical about how you do things. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Kingdom Within Tarot. And this is the main read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Prince of Wands over there, the Prince of Pentacles there, hmm. uh, the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman. So it seems like you were pretty stuck uh, in the situation uh, that you were in. And um, this is the card about, you know, people have been lying to you, you've been making sacrifices and, uh, you know, you've got this pirate hanging this man over the side of the boat over here. So, you know, it seems like you've been at the mercy of people that had no good intention uh, and they have been, uh, you know, jerking your chain or they've been manipulating you or like, treating you uh, like a puppet expecting you to do things and it seems you've been at their mercy and they have not been nice it's been a very cruel place that you have been in recently with the hangman and things have been pretty stuck there you know you haven't uh, managed uh, to get yourself free of it you're feeling as though nothing seems to be working out the world almost seems upside down, really. And it's the card of Neptune over there. So, you know, there's been a lot of lying and deceit going on and things hidden from you and you're not being able to see things clearly as well, um, you know. You've got the Five of Pentacles, so you've gone through some kind of financial loss, material loss, a lot of financial problems over there. Uh, maybe you've been, uh, you know, um, you've had um, a loss of a home. Uh, you could be, uh, you know, made homeless with this particular card because this is the Mary Jesus uh, Joseph story about being made homeless. Uh, and there's a lot of financial problems there. <coughs> so there's been a loss of financial security, maybe, maybe even a loss of uh, things that you owned. Um, you know, you've had to leave things behind and move on. You can see money's in the in the snow over there. So money has been very, very tight and it seems like there has been, you know, you haven't even had enough finances as well to get things, you know, your bills paid as such. This could have even been a home move due to financial reasons. Now, you've got the Prince of Pentacles over there and the Prince of Wands, which are really, really two positive cards. So it seems like you have been trying for uh, new jobs and uh, it seems like there's um, something coming in for you uh, there with that Prince of Pentacles. So um, uh, a new job offer coming in over there for you and you'll be working pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be paying you the best because you can see there's still ice in the background over here. But it's going to give you enough to get through. So she's carrying that wreath there. Possibly after this Christmas period over here, a new job offer comes in for you. Now, this job offer might be something where you travel because you've got the Prince of Wands uh, immediately next to the Prince of Pentacles over there. So, although this job is going to entail you working very, very hard and, you know, um, it's not going to pay you the best of salaries, but it's going to give you enough. Um, it, it might also mean that you're going to have a lot more freedom and you're going to be able to travel. And this might be some overseas travel coming in with that new job. So it looks like news is coming in for you for that. And it looks like you're going to be getting a job and that job might be uh, involving overseas travel or relocating, going somewhere else and starting afresh somewhere new. 
with our Prince of Pentacles. You've got a choice coming up for you over there. So uh, it seems like there's the Two of Wands, and there you are at the crossroads in your life, whether to stay or to go. So whether to leave behind this old situation and travel, and it looks like that's coming in for you there. So there's uh, that Prince of Wands together with that Two of Wands. It looks like there's that job is going to be something that involves travel and moving on. Uh, broadening your horizons you've got the page of swords so you will get news about this and um, you know um, it's going to be um, something that um, this communication comes in quite quickly it's something legal it might be even assigning new legal papers as well um, so you need to stand up speak your truth as well and um, you know make sure that you're really reading all your um legal documents very very carefully it certainly takes you out from the ice and into the uh, period of abundance so there's that decision as well over here whether to accept this job offer or not and it is important for you to you know you're in two minds about whether or not you want to accept it it seems like it is something overseas so there's two cards of choice really if you look at it because she's sitting here between two mountains over here but there's a decision uh, and you have to m make uh, that choice and this is about cutting out that past as well uh, with that sword of truth there so this is a breakthrough moment that comes in for you but the decision is in your hands over there about whether to stay or to go it seems like there's a great aggressive conquest on this particular card you have to think only about yourself right now and uh, if there are any oppositions uh, to whatever you want to do you know you have to be very very persistent and be very aggressive about how you go about doing it. So a decision coming in for you and be, uh, you know, be very clear about how you communicate whatever it is you're, you need to say. So there could be legal documents that you're signing over there. Some kind of news comes in over there about legal documents. And this is about a new job, it seems. So there has been something, you have been looking into a new job over there. You've got the two of pentacles over here. You've been weighing your options up over here, and this is about career changes. You've got Saturn in the background over there, and you're weighing your uh, your options up. Also, this is about you know having financial problems and you know trying to juggle money as well. So that's what's been going on. But with this Two of Pentacles in this deck, it's about successful change. Jupiter's going into Capricorn. Maybe it's uh, you know Capricorn is a bit restrictive of Jupiter. Jupiter wants to expand. Capricorn doesn't want to. So you're in two minds about whether to stay or to go, or whether to start something brand new over there. So you are considering two job offers or two options about, you know, uh, whether you want to stay in wherever you are at and carry on working there or you want to move on. You've got the Three of Swords, so whatever's happened, you might be le dealing with some kind of legal issue over here. Uh, you've got this man carrying the scales over here, but whatever's happened, it's been, uh, you know, a very nasty situation. It seems like everybody turned against you. They said a lot of heart heartbreaking things, really. Uh, sat in there in Libra, uh, you know, so um, justice, there was injustice done to you as well. So the legal system didn't, um, you know, play out for you. Uh, it seems like things didn't go uh, quite how you expected it. And, uh, you know, there may have been some deception going on over there. And you feel very betrayed as well with this Three of Swords card. Now, you're hoping to get some kind of finance coming in over here. So this is a prosperity, Six of Pentacles over here with the moon in Taurus. And generally, you know, if this was anywhere else in the spirit, it would probably be better but this is on your mind so you're hoping that some kind of financial rewards come in this is what's on your mind this is what you're working towards and you want prosperity to come your way so your focus seems to be on finances over here it seems like the, the money will come in if you change jobs and if you accept these offers that come in and it's going to be something on the international front so you, you may have to like i said leave everything behind leave the loss behind and move on somewhere else and it seems like you know this because you've got this two of pentacles that you're juggling at the moment so these two ideas or these two jobs in your mind over here this is about being despondent you've had to let behind leave behind something that you thought was really good you can see walking away the five of cups being very despondent very upset there might have been a lot of malicious behavior that you had to deal with as well you're very heartbroken about it and you feel very dis disappointed with these um cups being spilt over this about walking away from it so uh, you know you thought something was really good it didn't work out for you and now you're having to leave you've got a horse he's traveling with a horse and this is talking about moving movement so there is some place that you have to walk away from you have to leave it all completely behind and go and make a fresh start somewhere new 
you've got the lovers card again big decision coming up for you so you're at this point where you're sitting and doing a life review you can see them looking at the cinema screen over there and looking at whatever's going on these people are different phases in their life and you are looking at back back at your life and doing a sort of um uh, as an assessment about all the decisions that you made right now and you're having to face this choice this decision it's this is the thing that is playing very heavily on your mind right now this choice but you are reviewing everything right now and um, you're trying to make a, a decision over here so there comes the ace of swords uh, you will make a decision and it's going to be something successful but you have to be very aggressive in how you're doing it this is the the power of the um the sword the power of air communication is vital over here you need to cut out things that are not serving you and you need to go for things so you need to take that power back in your hand everything will come to you if you speak very clearly if you're going for job interviews make sure you're coming across as being very cutting edge um and uh, make sure you're doing your research this could also be about signing new job contracts signing new contracts to start something brand new and making a fresh start you can see these autumn leaves are falling so you're you know the past is gone now whatever is coming in it's like a wind is going to a wind of change coming in to blow out all the old and bring in the new for you over there so a breakthrough coming in over there after going through all of this i think this is what you've been waiting for you're hoping for a change you're hoping for a new home um this is in your hopes and fears you're hoping to make a brand new start somewhere else over there it seems like you've been crying quite a bit as well with that ace of cups and all those tears and you're feeling very very emotional at the moment as well now going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Page of Pentacles, the Star and the King of Wands. So this is excellent. News is coming in about this new job of year. You'll be starting something brand new. You've got this uh, Taurus sign going through this. And you can see this Pentacles over here. This baby sitting on this manger of Pentacles. So there a new job coming in, a new financial security coming in over here. You've got angel wings and this angel is trumpeting over there. So you are going to get some kind of message. This has all been divinely guided at the end of the day, but you are going to get a message. This almost looks like the judgment card where um, you know, you're forced to make a change of direction over there. You're forced to rethink your life. Um, and it looks like you're going to get in some really positive news about this new job and it's going to be a fresh start for you there. You've got the stars, so you are being divinely guided. You can see messages coming in from the divine over there. You can see this jug is filling up with water from the divine and it's going into the other jugs by, you know, almost like by magic and pouring water onto the earth to produce growth. So all your experience that you have learned, you need to apply it. When you're coming or uh, going for interviews and so forth, you need to tell them how much of experience you have. Uh, and it looks like with the star card, there's hope, but there's also divine guidance coming in for you. You also need to follow your own star. That's what this card is saying. Go where you need to be. Don't go where everybody else expects you to be as well. And there's that peace and harmony coming in as well. So there's that balance coming in over there with that star, but also divine guidance coming in over there. Um, you've got the King of Wands, which is definitely your card over there. And it's got, um, you know, uh, the hero, hero, wounded healer, God. So you can see this man's riding this um, phoenix. So you will rise up from the ashes. No matter what has gone before you and all this loss and uh, you know, devastation that you've been through, it looks like you are going to be riding the phoenix. So this is about coming up, rising from, uh, you know, rising from the dead, if you like. Um, this is the Jesus Christ card. This is, you know, the resurrection card almost. So this is whatever's gone before you, um, you know, you are going to come out of it. And you are going to be like a phoenix rising from all the destruction that you've been through. So this new job that's going to take you, it's going to take you out of it. So don't be scared uh, to make that change and accept a new offer and move away from whatever is happening. Because it seems like wherever you have, whatever you've been through has caused so much of loss. But these big changes that are coming in for you, you know, you're so devastated with that uh, five of cups. Um, you know, you're so heartbroken about what happened. But now power is coming back into your hands and you need to go for it. A wind of change is blowing through your life. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tower. And you've got the Eight of Ariel over here, which says, Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting an additional 
education. So there might be a need for you to go and get some um, improvement of your skills, maybe do a refresher course, maybe do some kind of bridging course. Uh, there's a need for you to you know, learn some kind of new skill in order for you to um, get a best job, really. Maybe the job that you're even going to get is going to allow you to do some learning as well, some, um, you know, some further training. You've got the Six of Gabriel. So after all the problems, this is Six of Wands, there's success that comes in. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotions. So this is about you know, riding away. Movement is coming in for you, but this is also the card of victory. And with the Six of Wands, it's usually after going through so much of battle and problems, you finally... And loss, really, you finally come out a victor in it. And it looks like there's a message coming in over here. This man's carrying a flag, so you will get some good news coming in. The page of Michael as well, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts and documents very thoroughly. Now, you start off the reading as well with this um, page of swords. So two page of swords there. So this looks like there's going to be some legal contracts, legal news coming in for you. So you're going to be getting news about, you know, this new job is probably going to ask you to sign some new contracts. Like I said, make sure that you're reading contracts uh, reading the paperwork very, very carefully. But it looks like some good news coming in over there. It's going to be very, very sudden, and it's going to mean that you're going to have to act pretty quickly. And also, this is a card that says, you know, if you get invited for, like, an interview and s or, or so forth, you, you need to make sure that you're speaking very uh, clearly and be very, very logical about how you communicate as well. So something brand new coming in for you. Um, don't be deterred if it seems challenging because you will be successful. Power is coming back into your hands again after going through a lot of loss and a lot of problems in this year. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.